Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Workflow Wednesday. My name is Frankie. Uh, something happened today at the laboratory that, uh, that was kind of exciting. Um, normally, when a, a lot of our doctors send us cases, and, and at the last minute, especially if they're using like scan bodies, and they send us cases, and they decide, no, I want to go a different direction, or I want to use a different you know, company and stuff like that, it's kind of hard because sometimes, depending on the scan body that they use, they, they have to rescan. So, you know, and also depending on the company, but bottom line is, is that with this particular case, the doctor used a Strawman BLX scan body and called us up and said, look, you know, uh, I want to use this custom abutment from True Abutment. And it was really cool because I just noticed that they just launched through their True Suite, they just launched their uh, scan body converter. So I kind of want to show you guys how it works. You know, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, this particular case, of course, was sent to us, you know, through Sarah Connect to one of our Sarah doctors. And this is a scan body that they used. And so, like I said, you know, they, they want us to change this out uh, to, and, and use a different company. And so, you know, instead of just having the patient come back and, and have to change this out and, and send us a rescan, this is a really cool feature that they added. So, of course, the first step that we have to do is uh, we have to export this from, uh, let's say, you know, in lab. So we'll just click here. Once we export, you know, we'll change this to STL. And then of course, we'll find the folder, True Suite, and then we, we export it as a conversion. Once we save it, when we get out of that, we'll go to the True Suite software. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know the True Suite software. It's actually, uh, if you go to True Abutment's website, you can actually download it. It's free. They have a lot of cool features. You know, one of the things is you can do, you know, dentures, you can do, their pylon, so treatment planning software, night guards, you know, model builder. I mean, they got a lot of cool features, especially, I don't know if you guys have heard of the IO Connect. IO Connect is something that, you know, in our laboratory has been blowing up. Uh, we've been getting a lot of cases. And, uh, but, but again, going back to, you know, what this video is really about is that they added now the, the, the scan body converter. Even though it says beta, it still, you know, it still works. Uh, they'll probably be adding stuff to it. I mean, they'll, they're changing things up, which is like super cool. But once you download it and you install it, you'll see all these things. It will say update. Let's say if you need to update something, you can just click on the update and you'll notice it will just update itself just like that, right? But if it says run, that means that you're up to date. All you have to do is click on run and then it's going to open up that, that module. Now, it's very simple to use, right? The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click right here where it says implant. You'll find the implant or the scan body that they sent. So if it's a Strawman BLX, you'll click, you know, Strawman BLX. Then we'll go right here where it says WB, uh, W, I'm sorry, uh, RB, WB. You know, you'll click on that and then you'll have this drop down. So depending on the scan body that they're going to be using, um, you just find the one that they use. So th this doctor used the 065.0035, you know, so we'll highlight that. Okay. Once we highlight that, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to you're going to find. Oh well, first you'll see that this pops up, right? But then you'll find your case. Uh, you you can drop it. You know you can just drop it in here if you want to. You know or just click here. You know find the actual scan body that you're looking for. So I'll find this one right here. I'll click load. Once I click load, you know you 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 have to double click on it so it shows up right here. Okay, so. The first thing that you have to do, and it's super simple, right, is uh, you'll, you'll click maybe three spots, one spot. You know, I'll just click three like this, so that way I can, you know, find it on, on this scan. I mean, on the, on the actual scan, a little bit easier. So I put one there, there, there. So now what I'm going to do is do the same exact thing. I'll just click one here. I'll click one here, and then I'll click one here. You'll notice now that it's just going to kind of like overlap it. Um, what's really cool about this is now you'll see that this window just popped up. Right, so this allows us to see now where that new scan body is. Oh, let me click yes. Sorry about that. Um, you'll see that now the scan body now is overlapped, you know, over the other Strawman scan body, which is which again, it's the coolest thing because if not, I would have had to tell the doctor, sorry, doc. And if he doesn't have that scan body, you know, what he would have to do is he would have to just call the patient back or even order the new scan body, send it back to us. So it's a great solution for when that happens. You know, again, in our laboratory, we like to, you know, make sure that whatever scan bodies the doctors are using, that's the path that the case goes. You know, we, we don't accept, um, in our laboratory, we don't accept, you know, a lot of cases that are analog, barely ever. 
I mean, the only way that that kind of happens is if a doctor says to us, you know, hey, my, my scanner broke, can I send this over? And, uh, but at the end, we just follow the scan body. So if it goes to whatever company, that's the way it goes. But when we do run across this problem where the doctor says, hey, I want to change it, this solution is amazing. So again, once you're done with that, right, you'll click right here where it says, you know, convert to true scan body. Once you click on that, you'll notice that it says place three points to a line, right? But it's already there. Then what you'll do is right here where it says export scan body only, you'll just click right here. I'm going to call this new scan body. Click save. So now I just uh, sent that to, to that folder. Let me minimize this. Let me go to, let's say, ExoCAD, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, that same scan that I got, let's say, through InLab or through, you know, third party, you know, whatever it is I'm going to do. And then whatever software I want to use, whether it's 3Shape, ExoCAD, whatever it is, um, we're, we're, we're now going to be able to import that, right? So, um, you know, definitely uh, for ExoCAD users. So now you're going to import the case into ExoCAD, right? So, of course, the first thing that we'll have to do is make sure that we choose everything correctly. Anatomic crown, screw retain crown, and, of course, the scan body here. Then you'll click OK. Once you click OK, the case is now in your database. Then you'll save it. Once you save it, then you click right here where it says design. Once you click on design, of course, like I said, you're going to be importing the case that you have already uh, exported from your true, your true suite with the new scan body. So you'll find that case. So I'll go to desktop, click right here where it says true, uh, true suite. The first thing is it will say lower jaw. So I'll find my lower jaw first. I'll open that up. The next thing I'll do is I'll find my scan marker. So that's the new scan body that I just exported. I'll click open and you see how it already attached itself right here, right? So then it will say upper jaw. And then I'll click on that, open that up, and now I have my case, right? So you, as you can see, your new scan body now is the true abutment scan body. Um, you know, again, I think this is a really cool feature. I wish, you know, for, for at least the laboratory's sake, right? Uh, you know, it, it's something that we need across the board. You know, true abutment has always been, for me, you know, in my opinion, you know, a very, you know, moving forward company when it comes to their digital solutions. So I'm really happy that this exists. And I just wanted everybody to know about this. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you next time.